Much of mentoring is about helping your client learn from experiences that they have. But what impact does this have on the way you mentor? How can you find out how they like to learn the best? How can you put over for information in a way that helps someone to learn in more effective ways? These are the concepts that we'll be looking at in this session. By the end of this session, you'll be able to assess a model for learning from experience, identify learning styles that derive from the model, and identify how to deliver learning based on the model, and to evaluate the use of these models in mentoring. Let's start off by looking at a model that explains how we learn from experience. This is often known as Kolb's learning cycle. All the time we're learning from experience, and how do we do that? Well, if you think about it, anything that you've learned from experience, firstly, you experience something, and then you reflect on the experience. You think about what things went well, what didn't go so well. If there were things that didn't go so well as you wanted them, then you will look for new ideas or principles and come up with new approaches. And then have a go at that and then keep on going round the cycle. Your job as a mentor is to help your client go through this cycle time and time again. This experiential learning cycle is one that is useful to use with clients to help them understand the role of the mentor. Honey and Mumford used Kolb's learning cycle to come up with a way of identifying people's preferred learning styles. It's useful to be able to identify someone you're mentoring's learning style because then you can adapt the way you communicate with them to fit in with their style and so they learn in a most easy way for them. Activists, as the name implies, are people who prefer to learn by doing. They like to just get in there and have a go and see what happens. They like to experiment, take risks, try things out. They'll enjoy things where they can be fully involved with, like brainstorming, problem solving, role playing and just having a go. A reflector is someone who learns by watching and thinking about things. They like to take their time, look at things from several different perspectives before they do something different. A theorist is someone who likes to understand the theory and concepts behind things. They like to analyse, to think logically through things. They like models, concepts, statistics and theories. Once they have these, then things make sense to them. And finally, there are pragmatists. For pragmatists to learn, they need to see how the learning is going to be put into practice. They'll be keen to know how they can use the learning and what are the most practical ways of doing it. They tend not to like lengthy discussions. Each of these learning styles relates to one of the stages of Kolb's learning cycle. To learn well from all our experiences, we'll want to enhance our skills in each of these areas. So in mentoring, you may want to use their learning style to help them learn more easily. And also, if the situation demands, help them acquire skills in the other learning styles. This exercise is to help you think about the learning styles and the impact they'll have on the way that you mentor. If you were mentoring an activist, how would you adapt your mentoring to suit their learning style? If you were mentoring a reflector, how would you adapt your mentoring to suit their, their learning style? If you were mentoring a theorist, how would you adapt? And if you were mentoring a pragmatist, how would you adapt? Here are some thoughts to add and compare to the ones that you already have thought of. With activists, you would will probably want to give them challenges. Have them fully involved in activities and use questions to help them reflect before they try at something new. A reflector. You may want to allow them time to review and reflect on their actions. Where possible, let them observe other people doing something first and encourage them to experiment and try out new ideas. The theorist. Give them or get them to research the background information. Explain things in a logical, rational way. Use questions to help them action plan and put their learning into practice. And finally, pragmatists. Make sure to point out how any theory can be used in practice. Answer any what-if questions they may have. 
and they may need encouraging to think about situations a bit more before they try out new things. This model was developed by Bernice McCarthy, once again based on Kolb's learning cycle. It's useful to help people think about putting together presentations, meetings, lectures, training sessions, etc. in such a way as to ensure all the learning styles are catered for. In giving information, you'll want to start by making sure that people know why it is that they want the information and get them in the best frame of mind for taking in the information. So you'll want to make sure they understand why it will be useful for them, what it would do for them, what they'll get out of it, and in this way to create meaning for them and to motivate them. Then is the what section. This is the part where you will want to give the information, concepts, etc. so that your audience understands the theory and can reflect on the ideas behind them. This is the teaching part of the model. After that then is the how section. This is the part for the person or people to acquire and try out the skills that will allow them to put the ideas into practice. So here you may want to coach the person or facilitate ways in which they can try out new skills, doing exercises and so on. And finally there is the what if section. This is where you'll want to open it up to the audience so that they can ask questions and think about what might happen if they were to do this or do that so that they are fully set up for putting it all into practice and using the new knowledge. Here's an exercise to get you ex to experience the format system for yourself. The next occasion you have planned to present information to a group of people, use the format model. How did it change the way you approached it from your old approach? What worked well? What would you like to do differently next time? How will you do it differently?